Back in the laboratory, the veneering can begin. For individual colouring of the translucent white zirconia substructure, the Nobel Rondo zirconia base liner can be used together with the intensive liner modifiers to provide characterization. A monochrome coloured zirconia substructure would not allow individual colouring from the centre. Intensive liner grey violet is used without dilution in areas where the substructure has only a slight thickness in order to give dark or very transparent shades in the labial incisal area of the substructure. This prevents the zirconia oxide substructure from shining through and gives the illusion of greater depth and translucency by absorbing the incident light. The fossa areas are coloured an orange shade. Overall, the base liner should not be applied too thickly. These special firing trays are fully recommended since they compensate for the low heat conductivity of the zirconia substructure. The Nobel Rondo zirconia base liner is fired at 930 degrees Celsius. The basal chromatizer, warm chroma, is applied onto the pontic and afterwards the bridge is placed on the model. The color intense chromatizer provides deep color intensity and is used cervically and under the pontics. Warm chroma, which is a fluorescent inner core material, can also be used in the palatal region and for the interior occlusal structure. This interior structure, composed of a material of high colour intensity, supports the cusp areas and results in a natural posterior restoration appearance. The internal modifier, caramel, is mixed in to provide colour support in the fossa area. The dentin build-up takes place in the standard manner. Anatomical details are only implied. With the appropriate instrument, the dentin build-up can be reduced for the layering of the enamel. With Nobel Rondo, zirconia ceramics can form enamel layers of a natural thickness. The highly compact enamels and opal enamels mixed with Nobel Rondo soft liquid 
are extremely homogeneous and can be applied as desired. The first firing at 910 to 915 degrees Celsius under a vacuum does not require any slow cooling period. The ceramics thermal expansion coefficient is optimally adjusted for zirconia substructures. After firing, the compact homogeneous surface shows a light glaze. Corrections with the second or third firing are predominantly carried out using enamels. Occlusal details are supplied. The morphology of the occlusal surface, according to the occlusion, is perfected. With the Dekima Ostromat D4, an extremely precise and adjustable ceramic furnace, excellent firing results can be expected. The second or third firing is generally 5 degrees Celsius lower. All approximal contacts and pontic supports are carefully ground in. separated with a diamond disc. And the outer form of the bridge is prepared. The occlusal morphology is ground in and outlined. Round, fine diamond instruments are suitable for details. and carbide tips as well for fissures during the corresponding water cooling. When using extremely low amounts of glossy pearl glaze, the bridge is finally prepared for glaze firing. The Nobel Rondo paint colours are used only sparingly in the area of the occlusal fossae. The glaze firing at 895 degrees Celsius provides a homogeneous surface without the need for additional mechanical polishing. Procera Zirconia Bridges. Ultimate stability, biocompatibility and durability.